Hello everybody and welcome to a very exciting day. So we are going to start a brand new experience today and the way it's going to work is you're going to carry on your maths like normal where you're doing your mini experience all about the stationery that we need to order and are we taking care of it. And then in the afternoons, instead of doing like English and then science, we're going to have an experience afternoon. So you will do all of the afternoon, we'll be learning about our experience. And there's going to be two subjects that we're focusing on. And we're focusing on English and geography. So your experience afternoon will have either one or the other of those subjects. And sometimes we might be sneaky and do both, but it will be one lesson all together. So let me share my screen with you and I can tell you all about our brand new learning experience. Right, where is it? Here we go. So, our new experience is called I'm in Seven Oaks, get me out of here! Now you might recognise that from a television programme called I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. And there is a reason I've called it this. It's because it links to Australia, which is where I'm a celebrity is usually filmed. So it's called I'm in Seven Oaks, get me out of here. Let's find out a little bit more, shall we? So here is our key question and our outcome. So our outcome is what we're going to do is we're going to be learning all about Australia and we're going to be learning all about England and specifically we're going to be learning about a place in Australia called Sydney and we're going to be learning a bit about where we live in and around Seven Oaks. And what we're going to do once we've learned all of these things is we're going to write to somebody, we're going to write to a child in Australia and we're going to tell them all about where we live and how it's different to where they live in Australia. So we're actually going to write to them, it's going to be, we're going to send off our letters, it's going to be so, so exciting. I can't wait, I'm really, really excited. Australia is on the other side of the world, we're going to be writing to the other side of the world. That is just absolutely mad. So we need to learn all of these different things about where we live and about Australia and Sydney so we can tell the children in Australia what it's like to live over here. And some of you might even want to turn your letter into a bit of a persuasive letter where you try and convince them that they should come and live over here. Or maybe you might want to go and live over in Australia. So our key question is, how can I describe the differences between the UK and Australia through a letter? So we're going to be writing a letter. We're going to be learning about letter writing. So look, here is our launch page. I've done it for you. You don't need to do one. Or if you fancy doing it because you feel you enjoy doing them and you'd like to make your own launch page, you're more than welcome to. So can you see at the top, look, we've got my bit I've just read out here with our outcome and our key question. Then we've got what we need to include and our even better if. And down here, we've got our character trait of resilience. So let's go through step by step, shall we? Here as well is an example letter that I have written. This is what a good letter looks like. So we're going to be learning how to write a letter and there's loads of things you need to include in a letter. And look here, we've got some key vocabulary we're going to need to be able to remember. And if you remember the word vocabulary, it's just a fancy word for words, isn't it? So we need to be able to know the word continent. We need to know what human geography is. We need to know what physical geography is. The word ocean, vegetation, harbour, port, botanic gardens, opera house and the word landmark. 
So don't worry if you don't know some of those words. By the end of this learning experience, you will know what all of those things are. So let's have a look at our what we need to include box on our launch page. What are we going to be learning about? So, oh, my face is, I hope it's not covering it for you. It's covering my, my face is covering it a bit for me. What I need to include. So we need to learn, if we're going to write a letter, we need to know the features of a letter. So the layout, how do we write a letter? We're going to write in the style of something called an informal letter. So we need to learn how to do that. We need to know physical geography facts about both countries. We need to know human geography facts about both countries. We need to know something called locational knowledge, so where the countries are in the world. And for our writing, we might also want to include some additional features of letter like writing, so not just the layout, but what types of literary devices we could use within our letter. So these are all the things we need to include, so what we're going to learn about, and all of that will be written in our letter at the end. So let's have a look at our even better if, shall we? Even better if, remember, if you want to go the extra mile, you want to really write an expert letter comparing where we live in England to Sydney in Australia, you need to include a wider knowledge of the United Kingdom and Australia. So research a little bit more, know some extra fantastic facts about both. You could use a PS at the end of your letter and this stands for postscript. You could include a logo on your letter perhaps. You might want to type up your letter so it looks really professional. You could use a signature and as always you can use some really adventurous vocabulary as well for even better if. So let's move on to your task for today. We are going to be thinking a bit more about our character trait of resilience and I want you guys to come up with how we are going to show resilience in this learning experience. So let's watch this quick video together to remind ourselves exactly what resilience is. Oh, we just keep going, don't we? Did you know that's what the word resilience means? It means that you keep going even if you don't really want to. It's really important for everyone to be resilient, otherwise we wouldn't get anything done. Your bedroom would never be tidy if you gave up after two minutes. Your handwriting would be unreadable if you didn't practice it. Even though it's a bit boring, shh, don't tell your teacher. And you might not enjoy sport as much if you don't have a goal or a target to keep going and getting better. Children are especially good at being resilient. Did you know that? When you are learning, it can take resilience to keep going until you get it right. Think about your two times table. There was a time when you didn't know it, but I expect you kept going and you know them now. Resilience is great for learning loads of important things like telling the time, Ooh, swimming and reading. Have you learned to ride a bike? Could you do it straight away or did you have to keep going? Stevie, my pet spider, tried ice skating once. It took her nearly an hour to tie up all the laces on her boots and then when she got on the ice, she fell over straight away and said she would never go ice skating again. I told her, if you just keep going, you could be a skating superstar by now. Can you think of something you have done that was difficult but you kept going? Workshop challenge. Are you ready for a challenge? In a minute, I want everyone to stand up. And then I want you to stand on one leg like a flamingo. And that means no wobbling. Oh, I Stevie wish I wasn't will down. demonstrate. I can't stand up where I um, am. Stevie, what are you doing? You can't stand on one leg and lift up seven. It just won't work. Why don't you lift up four? 
Now, if anyone can't do this exercise for any reason, please adapt it to suit them, like I've done for Stevie. If at any stage you need to put both feet on the floor, then I am afraid you need to sit down. Whoever can be the most resilient and stay standing the longest is the winner! Now, please make sure this next bit is done safely. We don't want any accidents. Although we do know some very good nurses if you did hurt yourself. So, everyone stand up. No chair scraping, please. It makes my teeth go on edge. And with as many teeth as I've got, that's a pretty bad feeling. Has everyone stood up? Are you ready? Ready for the challenge. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Right. Well, you can have a go at that resilience challenge now, if you like, by pausing the video and seeing, challenge yourself with someone that lives in your house. How long can you stand on your leg for? Are you going to be the winner? Off you go. Right, so now we have thought about what resilience is again. And remember, there were loads of good examples in that video of how children show resilience in their learning. So your first task for today is to think about in this learning experience where we are writing a letter to our new friends in Australia telling them all about the differences between where we live and where they live. How do you think we're going to need to show resilience in our learning. I'd like you to come up with three different things. Obviously, handwriting is important and keeping on going, but try and really think about the letter writing and learning about Australia and England. How are you going to need to show resilience doing that? So that's task one. You can pause the video now and off you go. Right, our second task of the day and our last task. So I would now like you to think about how you show resilience in your life. So whilst we're doing this learning experience, how are you going to show resilience outside of your learning? Is there anything that you're really struggling with? that you think actually I could try harder at and I could not give up. So for me, I know I need to show resilience by making myself go for a walk every day. Because if it's a bit rainy, I can have the tendency to not bother to go outside. But I know it's good for me and I know I feel better once I've done it. So that would be something that I would put on there to show resilience by making sure I go for a walk every day, even if I don't feel like it or the weather's a bit pants. So can you now come up with three things in your life that you are going to show resilience in? Okay, so that's task two. You can pause the video now and off you go. Well done. Right, so now you have shown and you have told me and Mrs. Jones and Mrs. Millet how you're going to show resilience. And I'm going to have a look at your answers and fill in the launch page based on what you guys have said. So thank you for doing all the work for me. That's been brilliant. So I wonder, can you remember what is our new learning experience called? What is it called? Call out to the screen to me if you can remember. I hope you have remembered it's called I'm in Seven Oaks. Get me out of here! Good. And what is our outcome? What are we learning to do? Call out to the screen if you can remember. hopefully you have said we are going to write a letter to our new friends that we haven't met yet in Sydney, Australia, telling them all about the differences between where we live and where they live. So we're learning about letter writing 
and we're learning about England and Australia. Super, and this is for a bonus point. Can you remember what two subjects we are learning about? Not maths, not science. What two subjects are we learning about? Call them out to me if you can remember. Did you get the bonus point? It is English and geography. English is our writing, our letter writing, and our geography is learning about the world. So Australia and England. Brilliant, well done everyone. Okay, I look forward to our first experience lesson tomorrow. I will see you then, bye.